Oh gosh, oh it actually gets a little faster. This may not be a good idea. Oh yeah, probably not. Oh, probably not. Oh, oh no, 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 no. This is bad. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support. My last video was talking about my brain tumor, and that's not a fun topic to talk about, but you guys, all your support, great comments. Thank you so much, and I'm ready to deliver an awesome dangle today. Got my renewed energy, renewed spirit, and guess what, guys? My first fishing trip back, one of the craziest bank fishing experiences I've ever had. I'm taking one of the funnest rods I have in the arsenal, my ultralight favorite Yampa River. This is for crappie fishing, for trout fishing, pretty much for panfish. And I ended up hooking into everything in the Dagum River. It was just fun. If you like fishing in general, it was just fun. So y'all are about to see this rod get banned. So let's get out to the river and get to torquing on them. back. I'm back to get my trout on, baby. <sighs> Brand new attitude on life. Got things figured out. Gonna get some radiation in my brain. And now I'm just enjoying being out here on this freezing cold day in the river. <laughs> uh, they, take, they take these trucks, they come in here and they stock these trout basically just dump them in this water and they're here they're here for your pleasure so I'm trying to get get a few of these bad boys I'm thinking about going back in the truck and get my waders on my waders on right now this is a little sweet spot right here where the water slows down and if I can just get my cast correct I might just need to get a good angle here ah. Well, yep, welcome to the program. I do have mud on my tissue now. Let's try to change the angle of our dangle, not break our bones. I got the stringies, oof. Not gonna do it. I just got that in my mouth. It slung up and got me. Nasty. Oh, we've got ourselves a trout, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, baby. Good and good and fighting in the river. Get my way down here so I don't slip, kill myself. Oh man, this thing is really putting up a fight. The Yampa just, just doing it. Oh my gosh, it's a catfish. It's a catfish and I'm taking him. What the heck is going on? I'm going trout fishing and catching things that are way too big for this rod. I mean, look at this. Oh, kitty, you're coming home with me. I'm sorry. You done messed up. That's an eater. I thought I had myself a toe-tastic trout there for a second. Hey, kitties still eat good, you know. Got no problem with that. Man, I'm gonna have to come back here and get me some of these kitties now. Come on up here. That is a good one. Get on up here, son. We'll get our uh, hook out of here. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a nice catfish. I will take those any day. Put you right here on the bank. Let you swim around for a minute. Make sure you don't go nowhere. Keep you fresh. See if we can get something else. Okay, I think I know the cast to make now. I just got a, a bite. It felt like a trout bite. Just a little thump. There's one. There's a fish. Got him. Oh man. Could be another kitty. Could be another cat. I'm not kidding. Oh, he pulled off. Dad gummit. Catching catfish. Rooster tails, are you joking me? Really, really slow retrieve. Just kind of letting the blade spin in the crossing currents. It's really weird when you watch your, your lure, you throw it out 
out into where you see all the white water it just zips on by but then it'll come back and then it starts working this way the current is moving back towards the opposite direction that's a cast right there can you imagine if i hooked into a like a really big catfish on this thing y'all i've got another one i need to keep them out of this current it's something big i don't have much line oh my god i just saw a big tail huge tail there is not a whole lot i can do here don't go down river don't you do that what in the crap it's like they're eating flies they're just set up to feed right here in these conditions or something it's coming in it's coming in closer come on now oh my god i can't even move this fish i can't even move this fish oh uh, i think it's a big cat oh it is a big kitty it is a big kitty oh dear goodness this is an eater not a whole lot you can do with an ultralight setup like this this is meant for small trout uh ultralight line i think i've got uh may this is six pound actually this isn't four this is six the problem with this fish is it's not hooked in the mouth so i don't have i don't have as much control as right here i'm trying to pull it into this current flow and it's like literally it feels like it's stuck just stuck on something come on come back over this way come on go this way no 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 don't go down river okay kind of got the fish going this way now oh it's caught in this current oh oh my gosh it's not a catfish it's one of them daggum huge carps oh no 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 oh no i thought i saw whiskers dadgummit no no oh gosh and you're just you're heading for the hills now oh, okay come here come here come here this is the landing zone oh gosh this fish is in some serious current too and a drop off uh oh how do i get you how do i get you okay let's go this way we're going mobile going around the street whoa okay going with the current going with the current oh gosh oh it actually gets a little faster this may not be a good idea oh yeah probably not oh probably not oh oh no 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 this is bad this is actually not a good idea oh come here please 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 come here please oh please no 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 don't do that let's not do that oh shoot golly i'm not i'm not gonna this just ain't happening. Oh gosh, this fish is going to the Colorados. <sighs> well, okay. Thank you. Finally pulled off. <laughs> I would have loved to have landed that fish. But my gosh, that was insane. I, I thought it was a catfish. <clears throat> I'm on another one. I'm on another one. I just don't know what it is. I mean, this one's fresh. I just hooked it. This is, this is silly, is what this is. Come here, baby. Come here. Be a kitty. Give me some head shakes. Come on. Oh, God, he come off. Shoot. I was not expecting to <laughs> do what I'm doing right now today. <laughs> I was like, ah, you know, it's freezing cold. I'm gonna go after some trout and just, I don't know, just have some fun, try to get some, some meat. Always is good. But it's every cast, I don't know what I'm gonna get. And find it on this tackle, man. This is, this is, <laughs> takes me back to the childhood days and all I had was little rods. That'd be crazy if I hooked into a big bass. There's a fish. Oh gosh, oh my gosh, that felt huge. There's one. Got him. Got him. That feels smaller. Oh, come on. Dang it. That could have been a trout. That was probably a trout there. Crap. All right. That's the spot. You just got to slow grind it. Let it kind of backwash a little bit. 
Oh, there he is. Got him. Got him. That one hit it. Be a good trout. This is a smaller fish, so. Or catfish. I don't care. Oh, looked white. What do we got? Oh, gosh. He come off. Dang it. Probably not even getting hooked. Could be a part of the problem. You got to go so slow. Something big. I don't even know. Let's just take wagers right now. Let me know in the comments what you think this is. If it comes off. I want it to be a big catfish. Come on now. Hit it. Like, felt like it hit it with its mouth. So, we're going to find out shortly. It looks like it's coming at me. Come on now. Oh, it's a big catfish. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, dang it. Oh my gosh, there's some freaking hammers in there. There's 30 pounds of meat I've lost. I don't think I had that one. It looked like it was weird. You know how catfish get their, they'll eat it and then they get it wrapped in their deals. Oh, these hooks, man. These hooks are just not sharp right now. I really should change up some tackle here, but this, I don't want to leave. Too much fun even though i'm losing fish where's my line i can't see it where are you going you're going against the current it's not good it means you're real big i might could get it right here come on come 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 no 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 whoa 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 that sounds like a marlin we got you now come on now come on now with come on come on for the ah. come on in here for the land there we go Got him in the fin. There we go. There it goes. That right there is a Meps a Whirly something. Oh, my little my little red kicker came off. There's one. Oh, yeah. There's one, guys. Really solid little stickeroo there. Actually, that's, that was a rock. I just caught a rock on an ultralight. Hit the like button on that. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, oh gosh. Okay. Okay, that one came off, and it was that's a good thing because it was gigantic. That was that was like a Volkswagen. Sir, may I have another? May I have another, sir? What do we have? Please be a catfish. Looks like a catfish. Yep. Now, come here, come on, kitty. Come here, kitty. Oh, I snagged a kitty though. I felt him hit it, and then he, that gum, you're not as big as I was hoping for. What a snag fest! Yeah, he's a little small, it's not as good as the other one. Let him go. Give me one more good sized kitty. Just Hook him right in the schnoot. Right in this whisker biscuit. Oh! And it's big. Well, maybe not. Could be coming right at us. What is the severity of this situation here? Oh, it's coming right at us. What is it? Oh, man. Oh, baby, here it goes. Daggum. Oh gosh. Never got a look at it either. Oh gosh. It just felt heavy. Yeah, I think that's probably gonna be one of them uh, buffalo carpies. This is a highly sensitive ultra light rod, so if I bump anything with it, woo, gonna switch hands. Oh, oh, it's a catfish. Oh, it's a catfish and a good one. I just side hooked it. Oh. Get up on that bank. Well, when I woke up this morning and thought, how should I go fishing? I wasn't thinking, well, let's go catch some catfish uh, using a rooster tail 
That is two good kitties. I have gotten myself a couple of dandies on ultra, ultra light tackle. It's nice, we're getting them in this good cold water too. They're good to eat. Look at those bad boys. Whew. You say weekend fish fry? Yes, ma'am. The first one was in the mouth. This one is gigantic. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Holy cow, it's huge. Oh my gosh, it jumped. It's a drum and it jumped. It just jumped like a tarpon. Oh my gosh, it did it again. Oh, what the crap, I didn't even know they did that. And he just came out of the water like a tarp and oh my gosh. Y'all, this is freaking nuts. Make a note for river fishing, bring a net. Good idea, a landing net. Because when your hands are cold, this is a little tricky. Hang on, I know, you're gonna kick that tail and try to get that hook in me and that is not what needs to happen. Let make sure you're immobilized. There we go. Oh, how about I get my hands on you? Woo, man, look at that. That is a heck of a fight, y'all. Let this guy go. You're swimming right towards my shoe, dude. And there's my Kit Kats over there. What a dangle. Oh my gosh. No. Please be a catfish. That would be wondrous. If I got three kitties. <laughs> Fishing a trout pole. They are just in here thicker than butter beans. Whoa, what is going on with this guy? Whoa, 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 come here. He's got like red, a red fin. Oh my gosh, he's got red, red daggum fins. Wow, got something happening, but what's happening is he's going to the frying pan. Slaying kitty cats on a spinning rod. That was my daddy's favorite song. Oh my gosh, it's a crappie. It's a crappie. What the deuce, man. Oh, dude. It's a big old crappie. What the heck, man? What the heck? Oh my gosh. Big crappie. What? Holy smoke roonies, man. Sign, I was meant to fish today. That's a daggum winner right there. That's a winter winner. All right, that's the stringer, y'all. We're gonna take that home. We're gonna fillet it up. Not bad, huge crappie. Oh my big, it's probably like 15 inches though. And then some nice channel cats. And y'all, how much fun. I was trying to get some trout. I had one little trout on and then I slay some catfish and a big crappie. That's awesome to me. Especially catching them on that little tiny rod. So much fun. In you go. Ah, oh, yes. Job well done, and a whole lot of fun. That just rhymed. Look what we have here. Oh my. What is nice to just look at your catch the next morning and they are ready to be filleted. Man, I don't know about y'all, but waking up, having a cooler full of fish, making a hot cup of coffee, free range, Speedgo original, dark and tasty, getting a knife good and sharp, and then filleting up your catch, that's an excellent morning. That's better than watching cartoons and eating cinnamon toast crunch. For those of you that have never filleted a catfish, it is a cat. There's a lot of ways you can clean it. It's like that old saying goes. God, these are nice sized catfish. Currently, I'm using my crate that I built. Uh, it acts as a, a, a sort of table. It can be used as a coffee table, maybe. Or it can be used to hold a cooler on top of it, clean some fish at a good thumb level height. You guys ever heard of the rule of thumb? I've done another catfish cleaning video where I actually take the skin off and uh, it's a little bit more complicated. For right now, I'm just gonna fillet these uh, and get them ready for the fryer. So when you fillet them, it's a little bit different. 
take yourself a, a good sharp knife. It doesn't have to be a fillet knife. And you go in just right at the top of the back here. And when you hit the dorsal fin, you're gonna there's gonna be a little bump, and you want to just go around that bump, and then come back down, connect with the spine, go all the way through. You'll feel when you get past the rib cage, and you can really poke through there. Man, he's almost so big I can't even get my knife all the way through. And then just cleanly go all the way through the skin like that. So now you got a big old tasty fillet cut right on down to the bone. Nothing going to waste on that side. We need to cut the skin off of this side. Nobody really likes to eat the skin. Maybe some of y'all do, but skin's where you get a lot of that, that gamey taste from. That and that real dark stuff. You gotta have yourself a, a good grip here. Right into that skin, I kinda use my fingernail to hold it down. And then when you can actually grab it and then pull the skin towards you, why you're cutting. My hands are so cold, I can't even grab it. I'm gonna grab my little fish grippers. Yeah, I can't find my grippers. I was using them to clean the deer, like clean little pieces of meat off. It was perfect for doing that. Just gonna have to use my board gripper here. Oh yeah, much easier. Well, for those of you that have cleaned a slimy catfish in freezing cold conditions, you know how difficult task this might be to grab this thing. Anyway, we got the fillet done on this side. Beefy fillet. From here on these catfish, you've basically got uh, some belly meat that you could get, kind of follow around to that rib cage there. Just don't want to cut into their organs. So then you got that piece right there, the belly meat. There's also some cheek meat in here. This little piece right here, that little nugget right there, just behind that eye, pretty tasty. A couple little catfish nuggets. Just look at the size of that crappie, y'all. That's a big one. I got a little measuring tool right here. Let's see how big this guy actually is. Definitely over 13. Looks like he'd be 14 inch crappie. That's a good one. Oh, I like filleting you much more than those catfish. I have snuck into OSG's kitchen right now and I'm cutting fish up on her favorite cutting board. In the kitchen with OSG. I just came up with that jingle, honey. Do you like it? <laughs> All right, I'm glad I can sing to you and make up for this cutting board situation. It's gonna stank a little bit. If you wanna do a fish fry for your friends and family, or just for yourself, wanna grab a couple cold ones, get some Golden Krispies, mm. But when you got fillets like this, oh. So I'm gonna cut them up in like two to three inch sections. So like when it's fairly thick, like a juicy bite like that. Wah bam, now on the catfish. So basically just like cat, <laughs> get it, cat. And then cut it into sections to where, like this one's just gonna be a twofer. That one's kinda thick. This one's longer, but it's got more meat on it. So I wanted those to cook a little bit more evenly. So about like this. Good old chunks right there. There's a pear in there for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why it's there, but <laughs> when you're in OSG's kitchen, there's fruit everywhere. We're gonna close today's video out with the cleaning process. We're gonna pick it up on the next one with the eating process. I know, I wanted to see it happen right now. Believe me, after doing all that work, I wanted to put delicious Golden Krispies in my mouth. But LFD and my mom had something else going on. They had going out to dinner, you know. Whatever people that don't have small children do. So we're gonna pick it up on the Golden Krispies on the next video. Y'all, I had such a good time in today's video and that's what I needed, honestly, after having just a really rough week and just going out and enjoying fishing at its simplest form. Just taking a rod, one rod, going out with a little tackle box, walking the bank and just yanking into huge fish. It was awesome. It reminded me of why I still make fishing videos because there's these moments, there's these days where you just see things you haven't seen before, you get super excited, and that's what I love to record and show to you guys. I don't know if you can double smash the like button, but give it at least one. Well, y'all, Gimpy was in the yard last night. He left some pretty good divitry in the ground. So what I'm actually going to do is take the catfish carcasses. I'm going to bury them in those holes that Gimpy left. He's already started them. Take a little shovel, cover them up, give the trees some nutrients, man. The circle of life. Fish fry coming at you next. Subscribe right here so you don't miss it. Love you guys. I'll see you on the